Greetings creators, welcome to episode number 9.1 of Create with Cubits. In this episode, we'll explore some of the unique code blocks you can use in Cubits Blockly. This episode covers a lot of territories, so it has been broken into multiple parts. The links can be found in the description below. So join us as we build a better understanding of the Cubits Blockly code blocks and how they allow you to create more complex and capable robot constructions. Let's begin by discussing the main categories of Blockly code blocks. There are two general types of code blocks in Cubits Blockly. The first are the standard Blockly code blocks, things like timing, logic, loops, math slash numbers, variables, and functions. Basically, all of the standard elements of a programming language can be found in these submenus. The second are the cubelet specific blocks that are found in the sensing, acting, thinking, and messaging submenus. These blocks are unique to cubelet's blockly and are designed for cubelet's robot blocks. This episode is going to focus on a few of these cubelet specific blocks, but we'll use the standard blocks as well when we create our programs. Let's quickly go over the four submenus for the unique cubelet specific blocks. In the sensing tab, there is only one block. It is specific to the black sense cubelets and it allows you to use the current sensor value in your programs. In the acting tab, you will see many blocks made specifically for the clear act cubelets. Some are designed to work with specific kinds of act cubelets. In the thinking tab, you will find blocks that deal with cubelet to cubelet communication and data processing. We'll talk about these in a bit. The last of the cubelet specific tabs is messaging. These code blocks allow direct cubelet to cubelet communication across a robot construction. We'll go over the implications and uses of messaging in a future video. And now a quick pro tip. When you have a cubelet selected in the block map, Cubelet's Blockly can help you identify potential block to cubelet compatibility problems. If I attach a bar graph cubelet, you can see that non-compatible code blocks aren't available for this cubelet. But if I don't have any cubelet selected, then the entire menu of blocks is available. If you're curious about whether or not a code block will work for a cubelet, just connect it and Blockly will gray out the non-compatible code blocks. So now that we've gone over the general submenus, we've reached the end of this episode. In the next episode, we'll explore Cubelet's Blockly code blocks while building our own programs. Until next time, happy building.